Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Brandon Johnson. Today I'm going to show you a Rinker 192 Bow Rider that I just traded for. You watch this video on my YouTube channel, which is Use Boat City. The purpose of this channel is to make a lot of boat videos so that we can bring you guys with us as we show boats we have for sale, take out of the water to show you how to drive them, go fishing, work on them, pretty much near a boat, by a boat, under a boat, or on a boat. Please consider subscribing by clicking down below and following along. So today I'm going to show you this beautiful 2003 192 Rinker that we just got in that I have for sale here at Heartland Marine, where I sell boats. We're going to take a look at the outside, take a look at the inside, do a butt seat test, and just talk about how one is. Let's get started. That's a good old boy. Never meaning no harm. Now it's time for the butt seat test. Oh my God. Becky, look at her. The butt seat test is where I get in the boat and show you how much room there is for your friends and family's butts. This one's going to be real easy. Without the filler cushions, we got one and two. The captain shares, we got three and four. On the back seat, we got five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, possibly eight. Now this boat's conveniently rated for eight people. If you're interested to know how boat capacity ratings are given by manufacturers, down in the description below the video, I'll include a link that explains that. Now we're gonna go ahead and look at the exterior condition, the interior condition. <laughs> Now we can take a look at the gel coat. So after a wax, it'll be stunning. No scratches on this side, which is the port side. Dropping down to the hole. Keel's in great shape, shines, lifting strike. There is some slight gel coat needed right here at the stem that we'll be able to fix because that's what we do here at Harley Marine. We inspect, check, clean, and correct the boats to sell before we sell them within reason. One little chip right here. Uh, the lights have been upgraded to LED for your anchor and navigation light. Dropping down the whole side of the starboard, everything looks great. It does come with the matching trailer. So over here to the starboard, so this is just dock rub. That'll just come right out when they buff it. Should also point out this is the Liberty Edition and the graphics are in phenomenal condition. So we're going to jump inside and take a look at the interior condition. All right, as we climb aboard, we have a swim platform, rear facing sun pad. Vinyl's in good shape. I found two little nicks that we'll have vinyl repaired before we sell it. Before it goes out of here, so we have a starboard side walkthrough transom, as I mentioned. Coming into the sole of the boat, which is the cockpit floor. Nice L shaped seating that wraps around here. There's the two nicks on the backrest we'll fix. You got storage at your walkthrough here, some line storage to the gunnel side. Now what this black stuff is, is uh, there was like a full transport cover on it that kind of shredded and transport. It's got bottom cockpit snap-on covers, which are canvas and they're in phenomenal shape. Both seats have the flip-up bolsters. Seeing so ride high and dry, sit up nice and tall, that folds down flat. Design place for a cooler underneath the back seat. You got storage in the port side here in this tub. It's got an upgraded stereo, you got trash can cup holders. This boat's got a real bimini top, and this unzips and shades the entire cockpit. Coming up to the helm, it's got a tachometer, trim gauge, your four in one, has your oil, fuel, temp, volt, depth finder, speedo. Rocker switches are in great shape, and you can see them. Check like capacity sticker. They conceal the cup holder for the captain. So no one can see what's going on when you're drinking diet root beers. You got tilt steering right here. These seats swivel and slide. Got more storage in the floor. Right here. Upgraded stereo. Another cup holder. Little glove box. Coming into the bow, we have bow filler cushions. So these two come out. Both the vinyl's in great shape. It's got the grab handle. And you got storage underneath the seats. Let's go ahead and pop these out. 
like so. These little bars come out too. It's a really deep bow for a 19 foot boat. Drop this back into place. Let me show you this here. Pit lights. See so speakers light up on the accessory. There we go. Can you see that blue light in there? Oh yeah. Well, there she is. That's the cockpit. Now let's talk about my assessment of this model. Take a look at the engine. It is a 5.0. Mercruiser Thunderbolt. You got storage back here. 220 horsepower. Propelled by an Alpha One drive system. So my assessment of this model is easy. For a 19-footer, a snap-on carpet, snap-on covers, bimini top, upgraded stereo, a matching trailer. Really, for a boat this size, it has so much stuff that. It's a great boat, whether it's your first boat or your last boat, if this is the size that you're looking for. Well, thanks for joining us today. Again, my name is Brandon. Models popping bottles! Hey!